Hello everybody, uh, I'm here by the banks of the Fraser River, uh, the very busy Fraser River today. Uh, also a busy street next to me, excuse me for the sound, but I'm here at the Port Haney Railway Station, which is now part of the West Coast Express Line, uh, but was of course famously previously just one of the Canadian Pacific Railway stops when the Canadian Pacific Railway came through British Columbia for the first time in the 1880s. And it is of course this train station that brought settlers to Haney for the first time. This part of town, Haney here, is now of course part of my hometown of Maple Ridge. Uh, today I wanted to tell just a really cool little story uh, about a family that settled here in 1887 and made a three mile trek to uh, a plot of land that was free to build a home. Eventually they built a second home on that land and it still stands today. So today I'm going to be following roughly a similar path to the one that the Ansel family would have after they came to Port Haney for the first time in 1887. Uh, I've taken this story from the Maple Ridge Heritage Inventory and any pictures or additional information has come from the Maple Ridge Museum archives. Uh, according to family legend, in 1887, Mrs. William Ansel, then living with her family on the banks of the Thames in England, made the startling announcement that she would like very much to move far away and make a new start. The rest of the family soon found themselves caught up in this great adventure, and so William and Esther Ansel, with their three children, May, Herbert, and William Jr., were soon on their way to a homestead of 160 acres in far-off Webster's Corners. They arrived at the CPR station in Haney in September of 1887 to hot, dry weather and headed off to their homestead by the only means of transportation available, on foot. They walked the three miles to their new property. Their goods and furniture followed the next day, dragged by sledge over the rough path. All that greeted them was a small two-room shack built by a previous homesteader, surrounded by a small clearing in what was otherwise dense forest. They prepared for winter by adding two more rooms and clearing more land with the aid of a team of oxen. In 1903, William Jr. married Alberta Elizabeth Cook, always known by her nickname Birdie, who had been born in Pitt Meadows. The Ansel family played a large part in the growth and development of Maple Ridge. William Ansel Sr., a founding member of the Maple Ridge Agricultural Association, served as Reeve in 1902. William Jr. also had a life of public service, working at various times as a school trustee, police commissioner, and council member for 33 years and Reeve from 1917 to 1920. This was in addition to his regular work as a poultry farmer, who was also active in the Consumers Co-op of Webster's Corners. William Sr. deeded the eastern 80 acres of his farm to his son. The first house on the site was built in 1900, but appears to have been a smaller structure. It was either demolished or incorporated into this newer building. The house is T-shaped with a tall story and a half block facing west with an extension to the east. Uh, the wooden drop siding is original. So I bet when uh, the Ansels were building this more permanent residency uh, in 1909, they probably had no idea just how permanent it would be. Uh, I'm filming this in 2022, 113 years after this structure was built. Maybe more, because as I said, parts of it uh, could have been reused from the previous house. A big thanks to my friends Matt and Lucas for allowing me to film their house here. I had to look it up because I knew their house was pretty old. I had no idea of just how much history uh, it truly contains. So really enjoyed making this video. Yeah, big thanks to them for letting me uh, use their house for this video. And thanks everybody for watching.